Welcome to Gabby's Art Studio. Today I'm going to introduce a new section to my um, channel and it is um, interviewing artists that have different arts practices to myself. Some of the artists will be discussing how they approach their art process, while other artists will just demonstrate and showcase their artwork in a meditative form, so you may not necessarily um, hear too much of what they're saying. So I hope you like this section of the channel. It's very experimental for me, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to have a look at what other people are doing and learn from them. Give us a like if you like it, that'd be great, and a comment. Okay, today we're going to introduce you to some Chinese brush techniques and I have a special guest who's going to be working in a meditative state with uh, using bamboo brushes, which are slightly different. And as you can see, they are a domed brush with a very um, fine tip so that you can actually look at um, stroking the paint thick, going from thin. So I'm just going to leave you observe what is happening. So as you can see here, there are some very dry areas with a dry brush technique, and that is a deliberate attempt to show off the dryness of as the leaves die and age. You can also see you start off with one leaf and then you go three, five and start increasing as you gain confidence in painting. And changing the brushes, you have a smaller bamboo brush to create the details and then a bigger bamboo brush for the larger leaves. And this is diluting the brush, uh, the pigment, with a little bit of water, so you're getting a change of hue from quite an intense black to a grey. Okay, we have here another brush technique where you are loading the brush up with um, what's called charging the brush with pigment uh, using inks and we are using red cad and a little bit of indigo. So red cad, you roll your brush into the red cad and then tip it with a bit of indigo. And as you can see um, over here is that the tip of the brush has created a very intense indigo and because it's bleeding into the rest of the brush it's turning with the cad it's turning into a lovely purple we're going to be looking at doing something from the imagination and i'm just going to leave it up to our guest artists to work in a quiet meditative way in order to um, extract something from her imagination
The paper we are also using is a Chinese rice paper. So when the pigment hits the paper, it's really difficult to change it. So you need to really concentrate on your mark making. And it's rolling of the brush to get, I think it looks like it may be a bunch of grapes. So the composition has started almost in the centre of the page. We've chosen to use a portrait scale. I will post the um, names of the paper, the brushes and the inks that have been used. And as you can see, it's a good idea to have little dishes where you constantly have the colours mixed up. Um, by adding a little bit of water, even if the colours have dried out, they will rejuvenate. Similar to what um, I've been using with Art Spectrum and watercolour pa uh, paints. And what I've also been told is that um, you can't repeat the same, exactly the same images because of the way the brush strokes land on the actual page. So every piece can be quite unique rather than trying to repeat the exact things. So now we're going to introduce a little bit of green and it's always a really good idea to have a little bit of paper on the side to test before you apply, especially knowing that once the pigment hits the paper, you can't change it. And rolling the brush, is a, uh, the bristles is a really good idea too. You get different effects and different techniques. Work out the composition. That's quite a nice technique. The brush didn't have as much pigment, so you're getting that real sort of brush techniques in those leaves. It's great because it doesn't look contrived. All the mark making is original and um, sort of um, interesting.
So as you can see, the, the brush strokes that have been applied have been diluted and that works really well. It look, actually looks like a little bit of bamboo and the way they've finished off rather than going right to the very end of the page. Just adding a little bit of contrast here. So highlighting some of the veins on the leaves and in Chinese painting a lot of the um, images are also highlighted using a dark border. It's where um, if you read um, information on Vincent van Gogh he was inspired by Chinese and also um, Japanese because they because of their prints they were often outlined in black, all black to bring out the images. So these are little branches connecting up all the grapes, but they also look like a few characters that have been included in the work. So we're just exploring some different colours at the moment just to create a little bit of detail. Interesting brush technique where the um, bristles have been fanned slightly. This is what we call br dry brush technique. Okay, what's happening here is the, um, the composition is being balanced out. So as you can see, you have the grapes, the branches and the leaves in the centre of the portrait scale composition. And then your eyes are drawn at a diagonal with the branches on either side. And there's a point of interest in the bottom down here.
and that's it. Thank you. So if you've liked this video, I'd like you to hit a like or appreciate a comment. Thank you.